Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. This is day two of our Christmas semi truck build. Let's continue. I did some happy little trees here. Hopefully I can reuse this. Nice big paper mask I made. Beautiful, man. A little extra color on there. It really, really ties the room together. You know what I mean? Sweet. Now I just got to put the little stumps on these. Beautiful, man. Look at that thing. I just got to do the other side. I'm already stenciled. So I'm just going to do the masking. Then I'll spray it. I just sprayed the little stumps here. And I'll show you what I mean in a second. I don't know how many trips I've done back and forth to the spray booth today, but it's been a lot. And we got a little stump. I'm gonna mask off the rest of this and go spray these ones. And then we can move on. I think we're getting close to the end of the details for this. It's been a lot of work so far. Do 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 it's snowing on my trailer. We need a nice variety of sizes. Hell oh, yeah, it looks Christmassy now. I'm feeling it. I gotta go back to this side, put some snow on my trees. Whoop. I kinda like some of the bigger snowflakes I had on the other side, so I'm gonna make some of these bigger. Sweet, that's looking great. All right, so I think we're done painting on this van body so i'm gonna go put this in the little uh, paint oven for a bit and let this dry for a hot second and then i'm gonna throw some clear coat on this and get this in the oven and then i'm gonna be able to move on to doing these two pieces it shouldn't take long i wanted to do the candy cane striping on the sides of this and then i got to two-tone the front of this cab and get a decal on there do a couple little details paint these cab lights etc and then I'll be able to clear coat those and then we'll be uh, pretty, well, pretty well on the home stretch. The only other thing I have to do is get these wheels apart and paint, paint these rims. I think we're going to go back to like an aluminum looking rim or maybe possibly chrome. If I can get these tires off nice and clean, maybe I'll just mull and towel these up and get those in the oven as well and get those drying. I should probably do that sooner than later. So I'm going to head over to a spray booth. We'll give this a clear coat and then we can move on. Right in the middle of two-toning our cab here. Just getting the lines taped up. Check out that nice bend I did with that vinyl. Mm -hmm. So that'll be the part that's two-toned. This project's been a heck of a lot of work so far. Beautiful. Got a little two-tone area isolated. So I'm going to go hit this with a little bit of white now. And we can throw our decal on. Also, I have candy cane did the sides of my trailer. So I'm going to hit those with some white as well. And then we'll be pretty close to doing an assembly. It's pretty exciting. I've been working on this for like four days now. It may not seem like it's a lot of work, but it actually is a ton of work. Especially preparing those stencils and everything. So hopefully it all looks good when it's together. I'm sure it will. I'm going to stick it on the bench for the rest of December and half of January. Okay. The two-tone on our cab turned out pretty good. It's got lots of heavy flake on there, just like the trailer, so I can appreciate that. Painting up some clearance lights. Man, I wanted to put clearance lights on my, uh, my 1980 Ford F-350 so bad, but the whole idea of drilling the roof like 30 times, I was not feeling. So I didn't do it, but it would have been so awesome. I even bought them. I had the kits and everything. I just never pulled the trigger on it. It's too much drilling. I was worried about having leaks down the road. We're nearing completion of our project here. This morning I clear coated the decals that we're going to be putting on the truck. So those should be ready to go anytime. We got some door handles here I want to do. If I go over the lines I got some right here so I can just Boop. Good to know that that uh, Createx opaque red matches my paint markers like perfectly. Surprisingly, 
Not that shaky today. I haven't had any coffee this morning. And then we had some people over last night. So I got a little bit... Had a few too many Canadian libations. And then realized I had to get up in five hours to work on a video. I don't feel too bad, given the circumstances. Probably just because I'm Canadian and, you know, we're extra resistant to alcohol up here. Everything's stronger. Been putting whiskey in our coffee since we were, like, you know... Children. Beautiful, man. This is gonna be real nice. I think I'd like to do the decals now. Cause we gotta get this thing clear coated. I'm gonna clear coat our trailer one more time. Cause I could show you guys. It's looking pretty decent, I think. I think it looks cool. I mean, it looks nerdy. It looks like, I'll be honest with you guys. It looks like a Christmas ornament that like my grandparents would buy. But that's kind of what I was going for, was like literally a decoration that's obviously Christmassy to go on the bench. So, <laughs> so I'm feeling it. I did a little bit of sanding here just because there's so many different levels where it was getting a little bit bumpy. So I did do a little bit of wet sanding. So I have one more clear coat that I would like to do on here. And then uh, I'll do that when I do the clear coat on the truck. So that's coming along quite well. I chromed our wheels last night. I'm not sure if I filmed it or not, but I definitely chromed them. Anyways, we will lay down a little H2O. Dark Earth Resurrection Customs. Hell yeah. Little neon logo from the intro right there. Boop. Dark okay, Chaos Resurrection and Customs. Speaking of resurrecting, we've got a whole bunch of vintage Hot Wheels on the way. It's going to be compliments of the patron members. Namaste. Namaste for your patronage. It's going to be a lot of black walls. There's a couple red lines, like half a dozen red lines. There's a... Uh, Bunch of Sammies. A bunch of pretty cool projects in one big lot where there was like 50 some cars. So I have a purchased said lot and I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be the content for the new year. One last thing I got to do is I got a new stencil for the Ford lettering for the front end here. I think that's the ticket. That's the ticket there, Vern. Leave that right there. Thank you for all the moon pie comments in uh, part one of the video. <laughs> there was a bazillion people telling me what a moon pie is. I like how there was mixed results. You know, half people were like, hell yeah, man, it feeds my arteries. Just what, you know, scratches me right where I itch, Jim Bob. And then the other guy's like, man, those things are going to just rot your face out. And There's a nice variety of moon pie comments, so I can appreciate that. So thank you. Thank you for the laughs. Alrighty, so I'm gonna be able to go into the spray booth and hit that with a little bit of Quicksilver. Just, just take me two seconds. And then I think I'm gonna be able to clear coat our cab here. And while I'm there, I'm gonna clear coat our trailer. I've got our little fuel tanks here. I might as well illuminize these because they're not gonna really match as, you know, they kind of look like air tanks because they're black, but we'll spray these with a little Quicksilver. All right, here's our cab. Everything's done drying. So I'm gonna do a final assembly here and then we'll do a reveal. How exciting. Give me a few minutes. Gleek, 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 gleek. I wonder if it'll just dock. Let's try it. <laughs> so here it is. Here's our little truck and trailer package. The C950 is complete Christmas style. I think it turned out pretty great. I'm very pleased that uh, we were able to paint everything on here. Like there's no no decals on that trailer. Everything that you see there is all paint. So I'm pretty proud of that because a lot of channels don't do that kind of stuff. You just throw decals on there and you call it a day. So I want to thank the patrons for their continued support. You guys are amazing. So from everyone at Diecast Resurrection, I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I appreciate you guys so much for watching my videos. We had a great year. Feels really good to be back making content again. I appreciate each and every one of you. 
And I'll probably see you guys around Boxing Day, I'm thinking. I'm not really doing anything for the holidays. I'll be around. So, uh, yeah, keep your stick on the ice, and I'll see you in the comments. Take care, guys. Merry Christmas.